Nama saya Spencer dari Amerika Syarikat. Saya duduk sini dalam farm. So this is our old kitchen. We are about to switch over to this kitchen right here. It's almost done being built. This is my after work heaven. Yeah, it's no sun here. All right, here we are today in the middle of the jungle, far away from the next city, deep inside the middle of nowhere here in Kedah, Malaysia. And yeah, we are at an volunteer-based integrative organic farm and um, yeah, they grow rice here and today we're going to learn a little bit how they do it and we're going to meet one girl from the US, Spencer is her name, she is living here and um, yeah, we're gonna get to know her today, hear about her story, what is she doing here, why she ended up here and learn a little bit about how to grow rice and see what's going on here on this farm today. So this is our old kitchen, we're about to switch over to this kitchen right here, it's almost done being built and that'll be our new kitchen. But this one's the tree house. Um, this, sometimes people live in here, but mostly it's just like a hangout spot. You can mm -hmm. like come and chill. You can take a peek inside. By the way, are. I guess at the moment you're the only one here, right? I am the only one. Yeah. <laughs> I am the only one. Not a surprise in these yeah. times. You can peek in here. Ah, that's like an, like a chalet style where people could live in. Is your apartment? No, this is just the tree house. It's like, I used to live here actually, but I don't live oh. here now. Um, but Actually, yeah, unique experience to live here. here. Mm -hmm. And you Sometimes have some neighbors table, here right next to you. Oh, and a chainsaw. <laughs> Together with the rabbits. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What about bathrooms? Bathrooms, so we have one community bathroom here and another one over there. Do you need to go? No, I just want just to see want it. To know. Okay, yeah, we can. Yeah, show let's you. have a look at the bathroom. Okay, as I'll well. swing you down this way. We'll go to this one, and then we'll go to the other one. All right. Watch your step here. Mm -hmm. Our little natural staircase. <laughs> so this is one of the community bathrooms, right here. Ah, okay. So I guess you can also shower in here. You can, but each of these bungalows actually has a private bathroom. Oh. So when you stay in the bungalow, you have your own bathroom, which I'll show you also when we go inside. And I guess there's no hot water here? No, cold no? <laughs> showers. <laughs> cold showers. Yeah, so. living, in the, living in the jungle. Living in the jungle. All right, so this is one of them. Oh, so this is Got bathroom here. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, even with the Western toilet. Yep, yep. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ah, one Asian toilet and one Western, and one Western toilet. Yeah. Okay. So a nice little mix in there. All right. And then we'll swing up here. Oh. Ah, yeah. Steve has already started working here. Wow, you're <laughs> like ready to start. Ready to start. When you want to move on to the farm, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Steve is Kampung boy. Yeah, Steve is already working here. He's the ultimate uh, Kampung boy. When are you ready to start, man? We could Let's use your it. help. <laughs> <laughs> They're looking for uh, volunteers. We are looking for volunteers. So, <laughs> <laughs> so this is a patty, obviously. This is about a little less than one month, maybe a little over one month, right around one month growth right now. Do you also learn uh, Malayu here? Huh? Do you learn the language here? Yes, I did. So I know sikit sikit boleh cakap a little bit. Nama saya Spencer dari Amerika Syarikat. Saya duduk sini dalam farm uh, satu tahun. Kalau kamu nak volunteer di sini, uh, boleh nampak dalam workway. Oh, Dan, okay. Dan Hantar, message. Sure, pretty good Zion. actually. Yeah, pretty good. Wow. Like and subscribe just for that. That's good. <laughs> like and subscribe, guys. Very nice. Like and subscribe. <laughs> yeah, she's pretty good. So you are here since, what did you say, since January, since right? January. Since January. So January. almost one year. One year. Yeah, yeah, okay. And I made it a goal to learn. So it's not like I just sat here and like picked yeah, it up. Like yeah, I tried yeah. to learn. You really tried to <laughs> yeah, learn. Yeah, I really yeah, tried. If you really want to learn the language, I think you really have to Put, put effort, effort, effort. Put yeah, effort. yeah, true. Yeah. How would you say like and subscribe in Malay? Suka dan subscribe. Yeah? Suka dan subscribe. Suka dan subscribe. Suka dan subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is good Friday. All right. So ah, this is like another... Ah, yeah. ah, with a private bathroom here, yeah. Private bathroom. Even a western toilet and a shower. Mosquito net. Ah, oh, you have mosquitoes here in the jungle? S Probably, right? Definitely. Yeah, Definitely. yeah. The mosquito net bed, sometimes we'll put two mattresses in here, depending on how many people you have staying. But this is And the no fan, no aircon? Fan right here. Oh, there's and a fan every, right here. And every single bungalow will get a fan. Ah, even electricity? Yes. So we oh, have electricity, okay, okay. Phone, all that good okay. stuff. 
Wow. Well, and uh, imagine waking up and you're having this view every morning. Nice, right? It's pretty nice, actually. So every every food that you eat here is all organically from this farm. Not everything that we eat is from the farm, mm -hmm. but uh, the rice is. So when you eat the rice, you're eating the rice from this farm. Mm -hmm. But we don't have enough variety yeah, here to, okay. to have a full yeah, diet. Yeah. Uh, but sometimes, sometimes, yeah, sometimes we catch fish from here, chicken from the farm. Yeah, well, what is like a normal menu? Normal menu? You eat the chicken from around uh, here? Can. You so probably have eggs. You Also eggs, mm -hmm. kampong eggs, which are very small and a little mm -hmm. bit different in texture to eat. Yeah. Um, but I would say a typical meal, like a typical day's worth of meals, uh, Captain's wife does all the cooking. Mm -hmm. So she usually for breakfast will do something like nasi lemak or roti chennai. Mm -hmm. They'll buy it in the village from somewhere. Okay. For lunch, it'll be rice, some sort of curry, either like fish curry or chicken curry, some sort of vegetable, um, and maybe like one other small okay. side dish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then same for dinner, or dinner sometimes is a little bit more simple, like bihun goreng or char kway tiao or something oh, like okay. that. Yeah. So looks uh, sounds quite good actually. Yeah, it's great. The yeah. food is great. His the captain's wife is an incredible cook, like really, really incredible. Would it also be possible to stay as a vegetarian? Yes. Yeah, right? Yes, we accommodate for vegetarians, okay. we accommodate for vegans, yeah. and most food allergies also. We had a girl here who had like a gluten allergy. We mm -hmm. made sure that she was all taken care of. Okay, so cool, cool, cool. They're super accommodating. They will yeah. they want you to be fed and fed. <laughs> they want you to be fed and fed. Typical Malaysia. Typical Malaysia. Yeah. You never get hungry in Malaysia. No, you cannot. Even there's no food stall around here. You'll find food. They make sure <laughs> that you don't you know, get hungry. I wouldn't be surprised if there would be a Ramli burger store somewhere around here. There probably because is. they are probably, they're probably they are everywhere in Malaysia. They're so it would not surprise is. me if there would be a Ramli burger here. So what they're doing here, as I kind of explained earlier, is they're going through the middle, clearing. Hello. This is Jai. This is June. Mm -hmm. Guys, this is Ken. <laughs> <laughs> um, they so they're going in the middle here, clearing all these weeds out, and then in the process, scratching the roots of uh -huh. the plant. Yeah. And through scratching the roots, it gives them a little bit of a shock and makes them want to produce faster and more. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of what they're doing, and we do this three times between planting and harvest. Mm -hmm. So that's what they're doing right now. They're on the third time, so it's the last time this will get weeded. And then we can stop. And rice can grow all year, right? Yes. It's not not a seasonal thing here. In Malaysia, it's year round. All year In round. In Malaysia, okay. it's year round. How long does it take from from the plant until you can eat it? About three months. About three, three months and a half only. Months. Okay. Yeah. How um, much more expensive is it than the usual rice? Okay, so this is crazy. So one about one kilo of conventionally grown rice, probably imported to Malaysia, is about three ringgit per kilo. Per kilo. The minimum set price for one kilo of organic rice is 15 ringgit. Bro, that's like five times yeah. the price. Yeah. So it's really wow, hard okay. to sell. If I, you can, I imagine, can imagine, yeah, it's yeah. really hard to sell, especially wow. in Malaysia and Kampong. People don't have 15 ringgit to spend on one kilo of rice. They're going to spend three ringgit on one kilo of rice. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So it's actually something we're trying to talk about, making the rice more accessible to people with mm -hmm. lower income and trying to figure out how to, how to get healthy food to people. Yeah, yeah. Even if they because don't organic have rice, it's more healthy than. Is it more healthy, or what? What? What makes it? No chemicals. No chemicals. There's no yeah. chemicals involved in the growing. Mm. So I don't. I can't talk of nutritional value. Yeah, yeah. The nutritional value is probably yeah, yeah. more or less the same. But what I can tell you is that our ecosystem in this patty is super healthy, mm -hmm. and anything that grows from this ecosystem helps your gut, mm -hmm. right? Because like whatever you eat, like you take in those nutrients. So you're mm -hmm. taking in all of this patty nutrient as mm -hmm. well. So this healthy patty is going inside of you. So that's why I think this is the benefit because you're creating, you're having all these like healthy bacteria and healthy parasites yeah, yeah. that are living with the rice. And then when you grow it and eat it, that all goes into you. When you use chemicals, you lose a lot of that. All right, is this a place to hang out after work? Uh, this is my after work heaven. Yeah, it's no sun here. Yeah, I guess the water is quite refreshing. Cold. Oh feels cooler God. right away when you walk here. Oh. Yeah, wow. On wow. a really hot day, if I really am just like not feeling the heat, I'll just come and sit here. Yeah. You can just probably just lay lay down there. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that sounds that Bookman sounds good. Calls that his jacuzzi. Jacuzzi, uh -huh. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like with the floating water and everything. Yeah. Probably quite cool. Do you have fishes in here? Yep, there are some. Um, I would say like better down there, more a little bit. This is a little shallow, but. Yeah. Oh, you also go fishing here and then you eat the fish? Can. Yeah? Can, yeah. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Uh, okay. Yeah, can. 
a lot of you'll see a lot of the boys from the village come with their nets and yeah leave at the end of the day with their nets full of fish oh wow wow okay cool and then our so all of our water here on the farm comes from this river it's all healthy you can drink it so it's like 100 percent good for you drinking drink it, yeah. you can drink it oh, you need to filter it right right so first actually when you you could drink it right out of the river it's not going to kill you it wouldn't be super the best but yeah, it won't yeah. you won't die we have a dam that we built way upstream mm -hmm. way upstream higher than anybody else yeah so all of our water comes from that dam comes down here we get the water we have a filter system in the kitchen and boom cool. clean water wow. so is this actually where all your drinking water is coming from yes, drinking showering yep everything comes wow, from okay, okay, cool. so you are here already for almost one year right for just about one year yeah what makes you stay here why why do you like it here so much what is what make because you seem to be very happy here. Yeah, there's why it, why is that we there's a few things, but I think it comes down to the people. The people, the, the people are amazing. The friends that I've made here, yeah. my my Malaysian family is like, ah, yeah. uh, it's I feel so lucky to have a relationship with a family mm -hmm. that's so close from that's somewhere cool. so different cool, from where cool. I'm from. Yeah. What is uh, if somebody who sees this video is maybe interested to to come here as well? How can they reach out to? To this place or contact this place yeah so you can look us up on workway we're sri lovely organic farm lintang valley you can check that out or you can check us out Did so I the, say the address is workaway dot just workaway and then look up um sri lovely workway hmm? sri l-o-v-e-l-y and then same with facebook you can connect with us on facebook also same thing sri okay. lovely same thing all right and then you can maybe become her colleague here yeah <laughs> <All right. laughs> wow, oh, this beautiful okay. place here we're getting like a second breakfast you know there's kueh kueh breakfast yeah. tea time what kueh is it srimukha morning break so morning i break. guess it's pandan with, because it's green mm -hmm. normally every green green food you can find in malaysia is with pandan delicious that's delicious that's okay i'm gonna try that well this looks actually uh savory yeah, yeah, it is I love with it. like spicy sauce around it yeah Popia. Yeah. Okay. Ah, okay yeah we'll try it okay, okay. Sounds All right. Good. So the girls are having the same here. Yeah. Kopi and Kui. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, try one of these as well. So, oh, there's also one white one. Oh, okay. All right. Hmm. Pretty sticky. So there's glutinous rice. Is it good? Oh. Sticky rice here, right? Yes, sticky rice. Hmm. Yeah, it's good. good. It's a nice mixture between savory and sweet. Yeah. Because the rice is not that sweet, but the pandan on top is very sweet. Right. Mm. Nice. Like it, okay. Wow. And beautiful atmosphere around here. One brown one here. <laughs> <laughs> I that far. <laughs> Alright, let's try the, the popi, yeah. Looks spicy with all the sauce around. Not spicy. Sweet. You like it. Change your mind. <coughs> uh -oh. Did you just say it's not spicy? They've got two already. Ken's, Ken's spice tolerance is negative five. Is it spicy? No. Manageable. So just just the sauce outside, yeah. But if you eat it together with with the rest of it, it's manageable. Manageable. But it's crazy. Normally, I know poop here with with vegetables inside, and this one here. There's nothing inside. It's basically just a dough, right? Yeah. Mm. But a good snack, actually. Nice. Um, like how Who can catch a chicken first? Jita chicken or first? Steve? This is guys versus girls challenge part two. <laughs> okay. So is the strategy to run at the chicken or is it to sneak? We're gonna try both. Did you ever catch a chicken before? Shh. Once. I'll catch a chicken. Oh, she did it once already. You right, caught one before? Let's see. She caught one before. Uh oh, they're all hiding from you guys. <laughs> <laughs> they're pretty quick. All right, Jita, how are you doing? I'm doing good. No, how are you doing with catching a chicken? All right, let's see if there's a target. You're gonna act like you don't see it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and the chickens are just moving freely around here. So I think I need a new friend. Oh. I think I need to walk by. So, Taylor? No. No makan today. I'm makan. No makan. You need to, to catch the makan here. Yeah.
All right, and this was actually the last stop on our Keda road trip with the Keda tourism office. And by the way, not every thing, not every activity we made in the past days is recorded on my channel. So if you also want to see everything that we did in the past days, check out also Steven Ivana's channel and Greg and the Jumi's channel. There will be more content from our road trip. And yeah, huge, huge thanks to the Keda tourism office for organizing this amazing road trip. And um, yeah, if you are interested in doing something similar or doing some activities that we did in the past days, you can reach out to the Keda tourism office either on Facebook or on Instagram, just leave them a message if you're interested in doing something similar. I will leave the, the links to their Instagram and their Facebook in the description or in the pinned comment as well. So just reach out to them and yeah, it was an amazing trip to get to know Keda. There is more to do in Keda than just visiting Langkawi. Definitely, we learned about that in the past days. And um, yeah, really nice, very nice experience. And yeah, the Keda road trip is over now. But tomorrow there's going to be a new road trip. Um, we are going to Perlis, just a few days. But um, yeah, it's going to be Steve and Ivana and me. We are going to rent a car and then make a trip around Perlis in the next days. So an interesting another interesting state that we haven't visited yet is about to come in the next days so if you're interested in that stay tuned follow us around and um, yeah come back tomorrow for the first Paris series then and um, yeah until then stay healthy stay positive and then see you in the next video ciao